What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Andy Bull. Uh, we're back in front of the racks. Um, Andy Bull's kicks in the house. You know what I'm saying? You know what you're here for. Uh, sneaker content and everything. Um, so, uh, got a little something interesting for y'all today. Uh, it's an early look at a pair of shoes that I used to have back in the day that I bought off my friend Trey. That he, uh, he sold me like a used pair. Um, so, I'm pretty excited to have these in today. I've never had a new pair of these in the collection. Uh, so this will be kind of interesting for me as well. Um, but y'all are going to see it at the same time I do. So this will be like my first unboxing on the channel. Um, with that being said, before we get into the video, if y'all could hit that like button, uh, comment your thoughts and opinions down below, and consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, it goes a really long way. I'm really trying to build up this channel and make a, a nice little sneaker community on this channel. Um, with that being said, let's get into the kicks. So... As you can see, straight from Nike, we have the, the Please Steal Me tape because Nike hasn't figured out yet that some of these, I'm not trying to accuse anyone, but some of these uh, postal carriers like to steal our shoes. It hasn't happened to me, but I've seen it happen to many other people. Um, you know, Nike, stop putting this tape on. People know what this is. They know it's a pair of shoes coming to my house. Come on now. All right, so let's get into it. We got our trusty scissors. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna slice and dice this please steal me tape. Alright, alright. Boom boom. Let's see. Boom boom. Bada bing. Alrighty. Use the strength on these. Okay, alright. Ooh. Interesting box. This reminds me of like the the uh, early 2010s box. It's just the it's a Jordan 5 box, uh, current one. Oh, this is dope. Okay. So, they could have fooled me because this is the top from the early 2010s boxes with the, the lift-off top, you know? Um, but they did hit it with this speckled kind of black and white thing going on on the side of the box, which is kind of cool. Um, you have your Air Jordan 5 Retro size 12. That is my size. Uh... This is a really cool box. It's really low key, just black and white. Uh, suggested retail is $190. I believe these come out on September 25th. They were originally slated for, I think, September 10th. Um, so I did get these early. I got the early access on the sneakers app. All right. Y'all ready? Let's see. Peel away the paper. One, two, three. Ooh, okay. Alright, alright, alright. These are cool, these are cool. Let's take them out, have a look. A lot of paper, regular Jordan 5 paper in here. Nothing special about the inside of the box at all. Doesn't look like they come with any extra laces either. Um, so, alright, first impressions. They are not bad. They definitely have the the new toe box they're putting on the fives um, with the kind of like squared out I would call it um, it's kind of longer um, I would say the new buck is not bad but it's not great it does change color when you rub your finger across uh, which is kind of cool I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not um, that's cool so you have a predominantly black upper you have your clear mesh uh, rubber see-through cage there um, and then you have your white midsole you have your speckled oreo shark teeth there you also have it a little hit on that side as well on the medial side and on the bottom you have the your black in the middle with your iced out pods top and bottom and then your black on the toe cap there um, you do have black stitching in the front and the inside, you have a black insole with a white fuzzy, like, cloth sock liner. Um, and then you have your regular Jordan 5 tongue. I do not believe this is 3M. Um, and then just black laces. So it is a pretty plain shoe. Um, but I am really happy to have these nonetheless. Um, these are fire. Uh, just jump man on the back, you know. Same on the tongue. No Nike Air on these. Um, look at the other shoe. You know, I'm going to be able to rock these with a lot of different outfits just because they are just pretty much black and white with the blue icy bottom. 
Um, no defects on these. I'm not seeing any glue stains or anything, which is a good sign. I mean, I guess that means the uh, quality control is good whenever they produce these. Um, so that is a good sign. Yeah, these are cool. I like these. I'm happy to have these. Um, like I said, I didn't have a a new pair of these back in the day when Trey sold me his. So, you know, these are cool. Um, I do have a Jordan 5 right here. We can compare them to. Um, I would say the new buck is similar to these Oregon 5s. Um, if not a little bit hairier because it changes color and this one doesn't really do that. Um, but you can see the difference in the toe box here. Uh, this one has the rounded toe box and this one has that elongated toe box that they kind of did. They started that with like the fire reds back last year. Um, and I've seen it on the Stealth 2.0s have this toe box. The... Uh, what else? There's something else that had this toe box too. I forget. The Raging Bulls had it as well. Um, I prefer this one with like the shorter rounded toe box. But this one's cool nonetheless. Um, I will say the build of this shoe is really good. Uh, so that is a plus. Um, so close up look for y'all. Boom, boom, boom. You know, I'll put some B-roll footage for sure. Um, these are nice, happy to have these, and it's always nice when we hit on Sneakers app on the team early, you know what I'm saying? So, thanks for watching, that's just the early look at the Jordan 5 Oreos that come out on September 25th for $190. Um, I hope you all get your pairs if you're looking for them. Um, you know, it's a dope shoe, very clean dope shoe. So, with that being said, thanks for watching. I'm going to see you all in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and um, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.